New trends in cybercrime. Cybercrime, or crime committed using computers, smartphones, and the internet, is on the rise around the world. In 2020, the Avast company blocked an average of 1.5 billion attacks, 218 million files, 33.5 million phishing attacks, 2.7 million unique phishing URLs, and 4.2 million ransomware attacks each month. The enormous number of cyber attacks is reflected in the financial losses of individuals, corporations, and even entire nations. In 2021, the Statista company calculated the financial losses caused by crime for individual countries of the world. In American dollars, the figures are in the billions. The global COVID-19 pandemic caused a pronounced surge in online crime, especially during the periods of lockdown. The greatest rise of cybercrime can still be seen in these areas. Fraudulent online purchases, vulnerability of electronic systems and devices in remote work and learning, malware and ransomware, possibly targeting hospitals, health facilities, and public institutions. The perpetrators believe their targets can't afford their information systems to go offline in the current strenuous situation and therefore will be more likely to pay the requested ransom. Health equipment has become a precious commodity. Criminals started focusing on essential medical supplies such as face masks, medical gowns, protective gloves, disinfectants, and ventilators. The inventiveness of online fraud perpetrators has been noticed by the media, which warn the public from the dubious practices of vendors selling protective amulets against COVID, fake vaccines, or overpriced face masks and respirators. Aside from the COVID-19 crisis in our normal online world, Avast and Cybersecurity Bureau experts are pointing out other cybercrime trends which most computer users can encounter. Spear phishing. This is where personalized and well-targeted fraudulent emails are created using social engineering techniques. Mobile fraud. When fake and fraudulent applications are released into official app stores. Malware spreading via theft of incoming emails which the hackers use to track their victims or add malicious links or attachments into the original conversation. Remote desktop protocol attacks, banking viruses, and worms. Theft of sensitive personal data from smart devices and the physical locations where the smart devices are used. The presented information makes it clear that cybercrime has unfortunately become a part of everyone's life, whether you are an observer, a victim, or even a perpetrator. Cybercrime doesn't go away when we close our eyes and turn off our computers. It will be around as long as technologies are around. However, we can each help counter its surge by responsible online behavior. The following video on data privacy will give you a few useful tips.